Welcome, 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 everyone. Welcome, welcome, Code 5. What's up, my brother? Hope everything's well with you. Listen to a track I did earlier this year called You Gotta Burn to Shine. It's a trip hop virus mix. Umbrella Corporation in the house. Representing. Representing. All right, guys. How are you? Oh, you see the kitty cat walking in the background. Oh, my Lord. Here, come here. Let me show you to everybody. This is Bandit. This is my kitty cat. One of them. He's a bobtail. Manx. He is also a Siamese. Seal Point. So he's all mixed up. He doesn't know what he wants to be. But he's a good kitty cat. Get down. Come on. You're introduced to the world, world bandit. Uh, cool. Oh, Code Five, you don't even know the half. They're you. They are so spoiled. Uh, it's not even funny. He beats you into the shower to get wet. Uh, we have to wet him every time we take a shower. Like he will run in there. He knows the time. Here the curtain runs in there. We have to wet him down before he leaves us alone. So that's uh, just, you know. Yeah, uh, I know. I hear you. So, I put in a new bass uh, run for this track, Code 5. Uh, it's off the virus. So, I'm going to mute this real quick and let you guys hear this. Let me, let me know what you think of this. Uh, I like this bass better, so here we go.
right, so questions, comments on the new baseline put into the track. Also, Code uh, Purple, you guys will think this is kind of interesting in a nerdy kind of way, right? So I bought all this new um, <clears throat> Corsair gear, right? The mouse, the mouse pad, and the keyboard, right? All USB 3.0 devices. Uh, I started getting some popping, popping at all, popping in the uh, in my audio, right? So what it came down to was these new devices are kind of uh, power hoggy on, thank you there, brother. I love this new keyboard and mouse pad. I've got it toned down today just on a, like a different, like a cool color. Uh, and the RAM's the same color right now, too. I could put it on, like, it's cool stuff, nerdy stuff, but cool stuff. Um, but the new gear kind of pulled down my USB buses, so I was getting popping while recording, so I had to um, up my buffer size on my audio interface to compensate for the gear. So I was running a 2.7 millisecond response time on the gear. Now I'm running like a 5 millisecond response time, which is still real-time recording, right? Then, of course, you've got the uh, the Foley here that I rec live recorded on the freeway. Be right back. Hold on, guys. The Zoom H5 with the shotgun mic. I recorded some thunderstorms. So, so last night I recorded some thunderstorms and rain. So I'm I'm eager to see what the uh, the microphone did on that. Um, but this is kind of the new track. I call it the God Fractal, because, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of what it, like. Yes, that is how it feels, Demonic. How are you today? Oh, my Lord, my cat is being needy. Yes, come here. I, I'm not going outside. My cat is being like super needy kitty today. Um, it's been a while. Get over here. Come here. Come here, pretty kitty. Let me give everybody a new picture of you. Oh, this. This is my, my kitty cat. This is Bandit. See, he's got the mouse, the mouse face. Yes. He's a very needy cat. Uh, I got the patio door where they can go out. They probably want food, but they're not getting food right now. He's a Manx dem demonic. He has no tail. Okay, get out. And I've got a female around here somewhere. I heard her jingling her bells. Uh, maybe I'll get her to come in in just a moment. But uh, that's... Oh, thank you so much. He's uh, 10 years old and super spoiled. Like I told uh, Code in uh, Purple, he likes to get wet in the shower, like runs into the shower when I take a shower. He'll run there and I have to wet him down, and then he'll leave. But 
it's it's him. He's just a strange cat. Um, been a while since I have streamed, and I can't. You know, like uh, work has just been so ridiculously crazy for me. Uh, but that's like over right now. So I'm off for three days. So we are gonna have. Oh, here you go. Boop. Get some different color going. Throw some rain on there, which is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, it's just been just absolutely nuts. And uh, I'll put it on color right now. Bink. All right, we're back. Uh, yeah, I know. Like, I need to turn on my red light. I'm super excited to be able to stream right now. Uh, I'm off for three days, so... We'll wrap this song up over the next couple of days. Oh, my Lord. I can't turn my light on. We had a power, power glitch. Uh, yeah, I know. I worked some stupid overtime. I'm at like nearly 60 hours for the week already, and I'm home now. I'm done, like done. Overtime's good, but I don't like to work a lot of it. So I get some good uh, music time and stream time and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. It's supposed to rain tomorrow like hell. So I don't care. Like, I don't care if I'm home, if I have nothing to do, that's even more better. I can sleep in for a change and complete this song God Fractal. Let me let you hear what it sounds like with this new, with this bass added in. Uh, not the new bass line, but from the drum machine. So I'm going to mute this and play it real quick. I'm just going to play like a couple minutes, nothing long. What did you guys think of the 808 bass? Like, it's a boom boom sound, right? But I could throw in like an actual kick drum and snare with it if I wanted to. I haven't really decided about that. And I haven't really decided about that, that the bass down off of the uh, drum machine. You know, Code, I don't know, like, so, therein, right, is the quintessential thing that I struggle with as a music guy, right? Like, I, I feel like I do amazingly good soundscapes, and they flow and stuff, but sometimes it's hard for me to put a drum track in with that. Like, do I keep it as a purely ambient piece or do I cross the line into, uh, say, the down-tempo world with the slow drums, right?
I mean, that's like, that's 60 BPM, so it's incredibly slow uh, for it, you know? And it can, but it, it changes, then it changes to me. So I have to decide if I do like a down tempo version or I do a, a dark ambient version, which is like uh, this, right? With the music, you know? I think that the the typical bell that dun, 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 from the subaquatic you explained it like uh, anxiety or whatever it's pushing it pushing it so do I push it with throwing in the hi hat that that tension do I push that tension through or you know. I appreciate that, you know, it's uh, like my significant other, yeah, I do agree with you on that. Hi-hat's low, so it's down under. The, uh, the quandaries of making and recording music, you know, and it's, it's so badass, right, that I've got a, a community of folks to be able to uh, bounce off questions, you know, that's kind of cool too. Uh, that's not a guitar. It's actually, you know, here's the cool thing that it sounds like somebody's rocking a guitar, but it's not. It's called Distortion Paradise. Anyway, that's kind of cool, cool sounding. Uh, it's interesting how these things. How these things play out, right? Here's the uh, the main lead sound. From the way from the uh, the virus. Kind of got that gritty, a lot of sustain on it, but uh, that gritty kind of sound, you know. So when it's playing, the sustain rolls into the next note if there's a gap that you can see, like in the data. Nice drop. push that saturation just right. I've got an EQ on this and a compressor.
So, here's something, right? Uh, so there's another plug-in module called Space. Uh, kind of funny. Uh, so let me turn it off, and I want you to listen a few seconds. I'm going to mute the mic, and then I'll stop and tell you when I turn the Space plugin on to see what you think about the airiness of it, okay? So just bear with me. All right, so what do you think? Uh, space or no space? I think I lose. It opens it up, like, tremendously. I just don't know if it's too much, because I've already got a reverb on the main, the main track. So this is all, like, master bus stuff. Sometimes you have to turn off these channels. Good old analog goodness there, man. That's the uh, Behringer D, which is a monophonic, monophonic synthesizer. That's a great idea, Demonic. It just, like, when you get into, when I get into the zone, for me personally, when I get into this and I'm like, I'm really jamming and really rocking and things are going, it's hard to sometimes take a step back and say, okay, this is what I'm writing for because to me, sometimes it all, like, this track's been very challenging in the fact that I think it's come together quite well in just a few hours that I've, it's about eight hours I've put into this thing so far. So that's really, that's really minimal, minimal time, you know, uh, to really dedicate to a track. <clears throat> but say I appreciate all the, solutions and suggestions and uh, just bouncing 
ideas off of you guys. Uh, you know? You got me on that. I know. I worry about it. I worry about it being perfectly imperfect on the stream, you know, on this, on this music, the way it comes out and uh, the way I present myself, you know, to others. So stop worrying about it. You're so right, my brother. Thank you. Uh, let me let you check out this other sound that I put into this track. You'll like this, I think. Iris 4. It's like a real slow, it's like a real slow arp. I need to make some DJ Renegade emojis, but that is so far beyond me doing that. I'm going to have to get somebody too because I like, you see what I got up there, don't you, Code? Don't you guys? The DJ R S. Thank you so much for that, Code and guys and gals. Thank y'all. I love it. Uh, I use it as a uh, thumbnail a lot of times on the YouTube channels. <laughs> you see it right there, right? I use it a lot on the as a as a uh, thumbnail for my YouTube when I repost this broadcast to it. So that's pretty badass. It uh, looks really, really good, too. That's a pretty badass ARP sound. I'm going to have to use that into something, uh, something else totally. Uh, by itself, it's just wicked. And that's the virus. Like, traditionally, the virus was like the preeminent trance machine. But I don't do trance. I do a lot of down tempo and ambient. It was funny. I, I posted my setup on Reddit, on a subreddit one day. And, like, the guy was like, oh, yeah, oh, you, you got you right, uh, trance. And I'm like, dude, I ride down tempo and ambient. He's like, wow, that's crazy. Um, yeah, kind of cool. I mean, the. Oh, good old 303. But, um. Cool, guys. Well, I'm going to work some more on this track. Uh, comments and questions, pop them up. And uh, I will answer them. Uh, thank you all so much for all of your interactions. I do appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to work on the track here for a few minutes, guys. So just uh, hang out and I'll be with you. I'm going to mute it where you get the best possible sonic experience. And I do too.
that's how that plays out with the drums, guys. Um, I think you're right. I think it is much better with the down tempo, but no hats and just the boom bass, the snare, the bass, the typical, and there's a, another thing that's underlying, but <clears throat> I think that that plays out phenomenally. Uh, I'll let you guys see what that spectrum analysis is on here where you can kind of, I mean, not that it means much, but it's the spectral analysis, how the music plays out uh, on sound, on, on your stereo speakers where the dispersion patterns of it is and how wide it is or small it is. It's still lacking in the high end. There's just not a lot of stuff in here that's high. I can over exaggerate that and over uh, like overcompensate for it with the EQ, which that's what I was doing adjusting. So, unfortunately, the bad thing that sucks is you guys don't get to see everything that I do when I'm over on the right-hand screen. I've got a left-hand screen that's everything you're seeing. The right-hand screen, okay. Hey, yeah, it, uh, I was able to boost up a little the EQ uh, and put it in there. So, just some, because it's, it's a heavy, heavy-ended bass track. But uh, a lot of the stuff I write anyway has a lot of bass in it. So uh, anyway, so, you know, uh, haters going to hate. I like bass. And I think it's soothing with the soothing, the more of the deeper tones and the bass sounds for that. Uh, man, my studio is dusty. I can't help that, and it drives me nuts. There was a gentleman I had, uh, one of my groups, that made a custom cover for my wave studies in Canada, but uh, he was going to make some of the other instruments and cases. And the guy, they had to go back on COVID lockdown, which is crazy. Like Texas, baby. We like the cause that cause it go boom. Not a bad thing. We like the bass here too. Uh, Texas, dude, we're wide open, 100%. Uh, I got my two shots. We're rolling, right? Canada, where this guy's from, Quebec, they're back locked down. He's like, man, I'm not going to be able to make the case or get the materials because we're on lockdown. They haven't even opened it up where, you know, uh, everybody can get the shots like we did here in Texas. I was able to find a loophole and get mine because one of the county judges opened up everything. Uh, hey, I've got free shots. I'm like, I've got extra shots, and I'm like, and I got the time to do it. So um, I took the Moderna two-shot vaccination and stupid COVID, right? Uh, the second shot, I'm a healthy person, guys, thankfully, you know, knock on wood. Uh, that check, second shot from uh, Moderna kicked my ass. I had 102 fever for like a day and a half, chills, aches, and then um Day three, I was back up and running, you know, maybe a little fatigued after that, but I was back at work on a day. I was off two, sick two days and off a day, and then I was back rolling at work. I didn't have time for it, and I don't think it would have affected me as bad had it not already been ran down, but uh, okay, cool, right? Uh, the God Fractal, I think. Like, I've got to do a little more tweaking and putting in some more data here. But, uh, damn, I think it's, I think this is almost a wrap. Uh, you're like, you know, I don't know anything else to do to it other than what it is. Because I think it's, a, I think it's almost a finishing product. I can tweak the, the compression a little bit. Wow. And, uh, and, uh tweak the overall sound feel, but I think it is where it needs to be. And uh, I think that's going to get published like tomorrow onto the whole, watch this, djrenegadebandcamp.com, Treadway Studios. I have a text, so you can set custom things on the keyboard here, and I have a custom URL and text set where I can just bloop, kind of like an overlay you guys use on the uh, Twitch streaming platforms, I can do that right here and integrate this into a Twitch streaming platform 
just not into uh, Twitch Studio that I use at the moment. I'm sure they'll have a like an overlay or a program. Um, but been a very successful, awesome stream. Thank everybody for joining. I'm going to listen to this again. Uh, I'm going to be off screen making some adjustments to it. So I'll answer your questions here in a few moments. Uh, I'm going to mute it where I can now, because uh, I listened to it on cans. Now it's time to put it on the monitors and listen to it. And uh, I'll answer questions here in a minute. I'm going off. I'm going on mute. All right. Cool, guys. Love y'all. I'll be back in a minute.
there you have it, folks, the God Fractal. I think that's a wrap. There's a few things I need to do. Uh, record it, drop it down to a WAV file. That way it can be, I can put the cover art. That's what I was working on. Uh, taking pictures, doing that. Uh, so, yeah, I think it is done. Probably be published tomorrow or what is today? Thursday, probably to publish tomorrow, Friday or Saturday at the latest. And I think I'm going to consider this a an amazing stream. Good viewers. I uh, got some other folks that have joined on there as well. So that's kind of cool. I appreciate everybody for stopping in and listening. Uh, Code 5 crew, much love as always. Uh, glad to be a part of y'all. Thank you so much for your continued support, and I'll continue supporting you guys. Um, y'all have a blessed, blessed day. I'll look you up on Twitch later. Uh, come in and join a couple of your streams. Give you some shout outs. Thank you so much. Uh, this is DJ Renegade. Y'all have a blessed day. Much love. Code 5, appreciate it. I'm out, guys.